Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to detail a better absorbed form of the amino acid L-tyrosine. It's known as N-acetyltyrosine, and what makes it so different from regular L-tyrosine is that regular L-tyrosine is far less stable and less water-soluble than this acetylated form. The body easily converts N-acetyltyrosine to free tyrosine, yielding much more of this critical amino acid in the bloodstream than what you would get from standard L-tyrosine. While tyrosine is easy to get from food, primarily meat-based protein, it's often difficult to get a substantial amount of tyrosine this way alone. So let's first look at how tyrosine functions and why it's so critical. L-tyrosine is well known for being a primary building block for the brain neurotransmitters dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. And all of these, dopamine especially, support mental acuity, motivation, and proper stress response, particularly during all too common stressful situations like sleep deprivation, overwork, and excessive multitasking. Do you know anyone who has this problem? High levels of stress can deplete levels of catecholamine neurotransmitters, and this alone can be very damaging, as these catecholamines participate in producing the famous fight-or-flight response when we are threatened. Because N-acetyltyrosine can improve attention, concentration, and cognizance, it's sometimes referred to as an atropic. N-acetyltyrosine can also improve thyroid function, because tyrosine participates in the production of thyroxine, the thyroid gland's primary hormone. Although, if you're looking to improve your thyroid, you need to start by improving your adrenals, because constant daily adrenal stress always affects the thyroid. N-acetyltyrosine can also be beneficial for those with phenylketonuria, a rare inherited disorder that, that impairs the conversion of phenylalanine into tyrosine, thus leading to behavior problems and mood disorders. Both N-acetyltyrosine and even standard L-tyrosine may interact with L-DOPA, and also some thyroid medications, and this is really worth noting because some people do take N-acetyltyrosine as part of a treatment regimen for Parkinson's disease, and specific to L-DOPA, tyrosine can impair the transport of L-DOPA into the brain. Dosages for N-acetyltyrosine can be anywhere from 300 milligrams to as much as 1,000 milligrams per serving, and you'll sometimes see it packaged with vitamin B6 because, like so many other nutrients that B6 improves, B6 facilitates tyrosine's conversion into hormones and neurotransmitters. If the tyrosine supplement you're taking doesn't have any B6 added to it, then just take some B6 along with it or even a full B complex. The side effects of taking N-acetyltyrosine can sometimes include nausea, fatigue, and headaches. So if you experience any of these, try reducing your dose and or stop taking it altogether. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.